What's going on everybody? Just wanna spend a quick moment with you and share with you what was placed within my spirit today or the other day actually. I was driving down the interstate and I was going with the, the flow of traffic. I looked down at my speedometer, I'm going about 75, maybe 80. I'm not gonna, not gonna tell you a story. But I'm flowing with the flow of traffic. And then I see a police car further up ahead, so I slow down because you know that's what we always do when we see the police. We show honor by slowing down. And what God placed within my spirit was that even though the flow of the traffic is going 75, 80, even though all of these people are doing it, they're wrong. I'm wrong. We cannot tell God at the end that everybody was doing it, so that's why I did it. Because if the police pulls me over, the police pulls me over for going 75, 80, He's not in the wrong. The speed limit is plain right there on the side of the road that says 70, and yet I was going 75. I was going 80. So when the Lord tells us in the end, depart from me, the Lord tells us in the end that he that we are not his child. We cannot use the excuse, <clears throat> excuse me, that everybody else was doing it. Everybody else was acting that way. Everybody else was saying they were saved and they were a Christian and they went to church and they were doing the same thing I'm doing that won't fly. Now in Matthew 7, 13 and 14, I'm gonna give you three verses just to ponder, put within your spirit. Matthew 7, 13 and 14 says, enter through the narrow gate for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow is the road that leads to light and only a few find it. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot use the excuse that everybody else is doing it. The road to destruction is wide. There's a lot of people on that road. You know, here, here's my philosophy. If a lot of people are doing it, more than likely it's probably wrong. If almost everybody is doing it, it's probably not the right thing to do. Just put it that way, okay? And then the other verse that I want you to get, the other verse I want you to get is 1 Peter 2 and 9, and it reads, you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. He called you out of darkness. He called me out of darkness. He doesn't intend for us to go with the flow of traffic. He intends for us to follow the speed limit. He intends for us, even though it looks weird and everyone else is zooming by us and, and follow the rules of the road, follow the rules of his road, his path. Many people are gonna go by you. Many people are gonna zoom by you and look at you weird for going 70. Why are you going so slow? That's the speed limit. And yeah, I'm telling you right now that, that I feel hypocritical telling you this because yes, I was speeding when God spoke this to me, but I'm telling you this because he made me aware that sometimes we think we're okay and we're not doing anything wrong because everybody else is doing it. But then I'm wrong. If I'm not following the rules, I'm wrong. And if I'm not obeying his word, even though everyone else is not obeying it too, I'm wrong. Think about that. Let that sink in. Ponder that. And let it penetrate your heart and hopefully change your life. Yeah, I'm going to slow down now. Yeah. Have a great week. God bless.